I feel like you have already crossed this threshold into this new sense of yourself, into this new you. However, it's still fairly new to you. Like you literally just crossed over. I feel like you're moving forward in some sort of destined time frame, point of view, state of mind, some sort of destined trajectory, some sort of destined destination that you're moving towards, but it has a lot to do with your choice. You are choosing to move in this direction. And I'm not saying that's bad at all. I feel like it's actually coming from a strong place of a sense of self. Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general energy reading for your day, or a daily gen general energy reading, yes. Please keep in mind that this is general, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And yes, this is technically a daily reading, but it doesn't have to resonate with you on the day that it was released, okay? So if you're coming here after the day that it was released, you found it, the title drew you in, the thumbnail drew you in, or you just felt like you needed to hear this or listen to this reading, then that means there's most likely a message in it here for you. So I highly recommend that you stay with it, watch as much of it as you can so that you can get as much of the information or as much as the message that you need. There have been plenty of people that have said, you know, this really didn't resonate with me until I got to the end of the reading and then it all made sense, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, this doesn't have to resonate for you out on the day that it was released. It can resonate at any time, yeah? Um, I also highly recommend that you guys get engaged with me here. The more that you comment, the more that I'm able to connect with you. And then number one, your comments or you sharing your story helps me to fine tune the channeling that's coming through at any given moment. Um, often with my readings here, we have a sequential story. Like it, we just keep telling the story until we're done and then we move on to the next topic. So if something is resonating with you, let me know. And if you would feel inclined to do so, share your story. That helps me to understand what's going on better and then I can interpret more for you, okay? Also, um, especially if you're new here, it helps me to connect with your energy by reading through the messages that you send. Uh, yeah, so I highly recommend that you guys do that. That really helps me. And, <coughs> excuse me. And I love hearing from you guys, yes. And if you have a question for me in terms of the energies or what you may be going through, definitely share it in the comments section because I will always do my best to, to reply and get you my perspective to help get you a little bit more of an understanding, yeah? Okay, sorry guys, I'm having a bit of allergy trouble this morning. Anyway, so I'm gonna get into some announcements now, um, just for those of us that have been following on, along for a little bit, but if that's not you, don't worry about it, that doesn't matter, it's all good. Uh, there will be a timestamp pinned, the very first comment in the comments section is going to be a timestamp that's gonna get you straight to the reading. So if you wanna skip the announcements and get straight to the reading, there's your comment down below. Okay, so, um, First and foremost, I didn't do happy hour last night for two reasons. One, you get uh, people didn't really seem interested in it, which is okay. Um, you did express your interest in having a pick a card reading for this coming full moon, which is going to be on June 24th, which is next Thursday, uh, a week from today or whatever. So um, instead of doing happy hour last night, I decided to conserve my energy and so uh, I'm going to be recording a pick a card reading today for that set for the full moon in, uh, in Sagittarius. Uh, and it's going to be titled, What Are You Manifesting? So in that reading, we're going to be looking at what is developing, what could be happening for you or what's coming through, what, the potential, what could potentially be coming through for you during this full moon, okay? So that's what I'm going to be working on today. Yay. Um, yeah, so there was no happy hour last night. And then so I was looking at the astrology for today and um, it was nothing too major. I mean, we do have a square between the moon and Mercury. There's also a uh, an opposition with Neptune and the moon. Um, and then later on today, uh, today is the 17th of June. Later on in the evening, mid-afternoon towards the night, we're going to have a square between the sun and the moon. 
So, I mean, it, it, that, those are some things to watch out for. Uh, the square between the moon and Mercury. Yeah, the square between the moon and Mercury is going to potentially be bringing some things to your to the forefront of your mind. Um, there could be a square off between your mind and your emotions, uh, your thought process, learning, and your emotions. But the, what, the other thing that I noticed about it was that... Um, the sun is going to be moving into Gemini within the next few days, I want to say. So um, this kind of is feeling like a little bit of a last, almost a last ditched effort, a last ditch effort to kind of get some things in order before the sun moves into Gemini, where we'll be able to, where we'll be now even more inclined to go to, to be uh, communicative and to be learning more, to be to be communicating more, to be expanding our horizons. And this to me feels very strongly linked to the full moon that we have coming. So that, that oh, oh, and then the opposition between Neptune and the moon is going to, it could potentially be putting a lot of illusions into place for you, or, um, you know, there could be illusions coming up. Things could get kind of dicey with that. So, um, but to me, this is just speaking to the opportunity towards communication and expansion of, of, of business and all that stuff that was, that is represented by this next full moon that we're going to be hitting. For those of you on Patreon, I did release yesterday my um, interpretation of this full moon that's coming through next Thursday. And I did a little bit of a card pull there. So if you would like some extra information, if you really want to be working with me in terms of astrology and all that, I highly recommend that you check me out on Patreon because most of that is either going to be on Patreon or if you are there, you're going to get premier access. So you're going to be able to, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to put out some videos uh, for all of these these. Um, uh, major transits or major aspects or anything. I'm going to be putting those out on on Patreon first. And then general collective stuff is going to be here on YouTube. So if you want premier access or if you want to join the the smaller community um, the in terms of the conversation, check me out on Patreon. Yeah? Alrighty, guys. So let's get into this. We're going to get started on this reading here. So I have the Mystical Manga deck. That's going to be my main tarot deck for today's reading. And then I'm going to be using the After Tarot for some clarification. And then, as always, we will be getting Closing Oracle Guidance at the end of the reading, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there, yeah? Let's get into this, guys, and see what messages we have for the collective today. I spirit, please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of these situations, situationships, romances, relationships, circumstances, and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much for tuning in. Oh, and thank you so very much, everyone. That's really interesting, you guys. That was literally, like, obviously that was me on a, on a basic level was me reiterating, you know, thank you guys for tuning in. But also, Spirit, that's never happened before. Spirit was like, thank you for tuning in, Eric. Oh my God, you're so welcome. Thank you for letting me to. Thank you for giving me this opportunity, this platform, this channel, and this ability to connect. Like, yes, I'm here for it. Let's get into this, guys. <laughs> okay, five shuffles here. One. Please excuse the sniffles, guys. I am having a little bit of allergy trouble today, but we are going to push through. Yeah, this is two. This is three for the collective. Found the key is, yes. This is four. What have you got for us today, please, Spirit? What would you like to discuss with us 
today. This is five. I'm seeing pink. There's a lot of unconditionally loving energy sh showering down upon us. And, and it honestly, that I'm not really getting anything, getting anything else with that color. A lot of the time, if you're new to media, then you may not know, but when I, when I channel for people, when I connect with people, one of the first things I notice are certain colors. And as I'm connecting with the collective right now, I'm just seeing pink. Uh, look, my nail is pink. Okay, cute. But it's a, but it's a, it's an unconditionally loving energy. It's just the, the divine reminding us that they're here for us at all times. You never have to fear because we are always safe, no matter what is going on in our lives. Okay, okay, excellent. You have to keep in mind that you are going to go through some difficult periods at various times in your life. There is never going to be, and, and this is all relative, okay? This is all relative. Everyone's perspective is different, but everyone's perspective is legit and valuable and it deserves to be honored. But at any given moment in your life, there are going to be challenges, there are going to be difficulties. You have to remember that those difficulties and those challenges are things that we actively signed up for. That may not be too popular of opinion, but it's it's not really an opinion. It's the truth. We signed up for all of this. And the reason why we signed up for all of this, you guys, is because we came into this physical existence, especially at this time on the, on the earth, to grow, to expand, to learn, and to succeed. And succeeding doesn't always look the way your ego wants it to look or thinks it should look. Success on a soul level is so much more different than success from a conscious or egoic level, okay? Your soul is here to experience things. Experiencing things means sometimes you're gonna make mistakes, but your soul does not see it that way. Because ultimately, no matter what mistake you may make, there is always a chance to learn. And maybe you don't get it all in one go around. That's fine. If we were really conscious of how many times how many different lifetimes we've had here. If you believe in, in reincarnation, then you probably understand this already. If you don't believe in reincarnation, don't worry, it doesn't matter. But ultimately the point is that we are eternal beings having constant physical experiences so that our souls can, ex to, can grow and expand. And mistakes that some or things or circumstances or instances that you're ego or your conscious mind may label as a mistake, your soul doesn't see it that way. Because it, all that matters is what you learned from the situation. And that is why at this moment, connecting with the collective, I'm feeling a showering of pink, unconditional love, very similar to this color on my nail here, okay? Because the divine just wants to remind us that they love us and they will always love us. They will always be here for us. They will always care for us, okay? Nothing is wrong. Everything is in divine order. All right. What's going on today? What do we want to talk about specifically, Spirit? Beautiful. There's definitely still an energy of moving forward here. We're going to stop right there. All right, good. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Seven of Wands. All right, so defenses. All right, boundaries, holding your ground, standing your ground, holding your honor for some of you is what I'm hearing. The first, this is also with the first card that came out, which is strength. Now, today is, um, I'm gonna get into a little bit of a timed situation here because it's coming through. But today is June 17th, and as of today, the moon is still in Leo, okay? And the, sh and the strength card does represent Leo energy. And I'm definitely getting a sense of pride here for you. Now, uh, outside of where the moon actually is, um, this is still a timeless reading. So if that doesn't apply to you in that moment, in this moment, then don't worry about it. But I do want to say for some of you, this video is being recorded and is being released onto YouTube on July, on June, interesting, June 17th. I just wanted to say July. Okay, so some of you may be watching this in July. Think back to, if you can remember, think back to, um, if this applies to you, right? But think back to what you may have been going through on this day, June 17th. 2017 20 wow 2017 maybe i'm just getting maybe i'm just getting tongue tied but okay that could apply to some of you think back to what you were going through back in june of 2017 that could be something that is now 
coming to fruition for you is coming to um, a c conclusion for you, okay? Um, I understand we're in 2021 right now, but this is this is an example of how timeless things really are or timeless energetic circumstances or certain situations in your life are. And this is really the beauty of the Tarot because you can tap into something that had happened to you a long time ago, but now the message is coming through because now either you're wrapping up the situation or now you're just at a better time or place in your life to actually deal with it, heal from it, or get some sort of messages so you can put more of it into perspective, okay? <clears throat> That was for those of you that are finding this message later on down the road. But as of June 17th, 2021, uh, the moon is still in Leo. <clears throat> and with the sun, I'm sorry, <laughs> the sun also represents Leo energy too. But with strength here and the seven of wands, there is definitely a feeling of holding your ground, uh, protecting your honor. There is a little bit of pride here, but I don't feel like it's misplaced, to be quite honest. I feel like it's very firmly placed in the right pl in the right area because underneath the Seven of Wands, you do have the Three of Pentacles with the Page of Wands and now the King of Cups. So I definitely feel like you guys here are going through some sort of, somebody here is going through, uh, uh, going through a transformation. And it feels like you've already crossed the threshold of this transformation, which I do feel like is being represented by this Page of Wands here. The Page of Wands represents a new creative opportunity, a new creative path, sharing of a message, but then also it can represent re-identifying yourself, changing the way that you approach the world, changing the way that you show up in the world. I feel like you have already crossed this threshold into this new sense of yourself, into this new you. However, it's still fairly new to you. Like you literally just crossed over. And so there's an element here of needing to stand your ground, of needing to stay firm in the choice that you've made to move in this direction. It is a choice that you have made. The thing about this reality, the thing about this world is that we have free will, okay? So there's fate, which is you know, there's fate and then there's destiny. Fate is something I'm, I'm in this moment, I'm going to say fate is something that just kind of happens because of circumstances. Fate almost feels like, you know, you weren't quite paying attention and you did some shit and it turned out to not be so good. And now all of a sudden boop, you have the result. Destiny is something that I feel like you actively work, you co-create that with the universe. Destiny has more choice involved in it, in my opinion, okay? So I feel like you're moving forward in some sort of destined, I'm hearing time frame, time frame, point of view, state of mind, some sort of destined trajectory, some sort of destined uh, destination that you're moving towards, but it has a lot to do with your choice. You are choosing to move in this direction. And I'm not saying that's bad at all. I feel like it's actually coming from a strong place of a sense of self here, okay? Strength with the Seven of Wands, also the Three of Pentacles. You've been doing a lot of work on yourself, okay? You're either building a business, for some of you, you're building a business, for others of you, you're just building a better life for yourself or a different life, a new one. With all of that, you have the Six of Swords. Now, the Six of Swords has been coming out for the last few days. And this, to me, is just feeling like you're continuing to move forward. Yeah, Six of Wands with the Knight of Wands. Whatever direction you're moving in right now, it's 100% and completely activated. I definitely feel like it's the right direction for your soul to be moving in or your sense of being, your person to be moving in right now. There is a sense of passion here. There is a sense of conviction. There is also a sense of commitment. And this commitment is coming towards, coming through yourself. It's a commitment to yourself to make a change in your life, to end up in a better place, to be more than who you have been in the past, okay? Now, Continuing, you have three more cards here. You do have the Three of Swords, you have the Ace of Cups, and then you have the Seven of Cups. This is definitely going to need some clarification. I do think I want to pull from the, the main deck here first before we get into the actual clarifiers. But what I want to say with this is there could be a good amount of confusion. Part of you stepping into this new reality for yourself um, has definitely has to do with coming out of heartbreak. Three of Swords, or coming out of really difficult situations. And the Seven of Wands here, also with the Three of Pentacles, is representing you 
consciously doing the work to rebuild yourself. Okay, the three of pentacles. Three of Pentacles can represent entrepreneurship, it can represent teamwork, but it also can represent self-mastery. And that's what I really feel like is coming through here in this Three of Pentacles, self-mastery. You've come to a position, and I'm, it's interesting, I wonder if the, the hanged man is going to come out here, but you've come to a position where you recognize that you need to make some sort of change in your life. You're taking the bull by the horns, you are taking an active role in your destiny, and you are making some much needed changes in your life. And as you have just now crossed over this threshold, moving forward towards a new reality, moving forward towards rough from rough waters to calmer waters, there is still a level of needing to hold your boundaries and needing to stand your ground against the old represented here by the three of swords against the old that you are moving away from and what this feels like is even though you have recently officially crossed the threshold fully and you're now in this new energetic reality this new energetic vibration there are still some confusing aspects that are coming through uh, for you that are connected to the old energies and i feel like this is mainly self-doubt and fear but I don't want you to get too wrapped up in that because it's just an element of the past. Um, even though you, it feels like you have crossed over this threshold into this new state of being, there are no hard lines between energetic vibrations. It's still a spectrum. So you're, you're, you've been moving out of this old energetic vibration for some time now. I definitely feel like it's been for a while. And you've finally sufficiently gotten to the next place where you can see where you you've made the choice to follow this path and, and take an active role in your destiny and you're still moving through it and you have officially moved into the vibration of the next cycle however again it's still a spectrum so you're still going to have to to allow a lot more of the old energies fizzled out that's why i feel like there's a lot of there may be a good amount of confusion there may be a, a, a strong need to really continue to hold your boundaries and stand your ground and remember, continue to remember what it is that went through that you went through in the past that led you to make this decision to move in this direction. And that's also what I feel like strength is here for you. You're really holding your strength. You're holding your ground. You're really you, you either need to or you are really holding your ego at bay. There are moments, and even I'm resonating with this at the moment because I'm I, I may be a reader here, but and I'm 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 channeling energies for the collective and I'm interpreting them for you to help you get a better perspective. But and this may not be something that you know about me yet because you may be new to the channel, but I often go through a lot of things and then I'm able to take my experiences there and translate them for you, give you guys my perspective, and then that also helps you see uh, see things differently. So I'm going through this too. I've been going through a massive change. I'm reshaping, revamping myself as an energy reader, as a channeler and all that. And focusing on how I can uh, uh, make changes to reach more people so that we can really continue to grow this collective and this community. And for me, even, I mean, like, I'm noticing that there are moments where my ego flares up and all these kind of what ifs and the doubts and the fears and they start to, they start to flood my mind. And I literally have to take a step back and say, whoa, we're not going there. We're not doing that. We have our plan. We have our trajectory. We know where it is we want to go. So we're just going to hold tight and keep moving forward. Okay, this is definitely a situation in which you just have to keep moving because the, 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 the more you keep going, the easier and easier it's going to be to leave the, all the past behind and the more you're going to continue to settle into the next phase that you're moving towards. Yes? Beautiful. I want to get one more pull on this last row here so with the seven of cups the oh oh i'm sorry we also have the ace of cups here seven of cups ace of cups and three of swords the ace of cups is that unconditional love is that pink energy that i'm feeling or that i that i picked up or i saw spilling into the collective here and it's this ace of cups that helps you balance out the confusion and the what ifs and the pain and the fear and the heartbreak that you are currently releasing as you move forward in this new direction okay this is beautiful you guys i want to get one more rope here please connect it to the seven of cups ace of cups and three of swords please spirit the 
that's enough. Okay, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, there you go. This is definitely a brand new start for you or for the collective here. All right, and and the, this is actually this is so perfect because I when I recognize the Page of Pentacles as that step in the new direction. Um, sometimes I, rec I I see the the Page of Pentacles as a level up, having reached a new level in which you are fairly unfamiliar with the the new reality that you're moving in and that does that does not mean that you've lost anything that does you may you may be coming into this new energy or this new vibration or this new cycle a little green okay that's fine all of my film people y'all know what that means if you don't know what that means um uh, uh being called green means you're just really really new okay you're untarnished you're un you're unaffected you're like a freshly picked flower, right? Okay, so you may be entering into this new level a little green, and you may feel like you have to wear a little bit of training wheels for a hot second, but that's okay, because ultimately you still have everything that you've experienced in the past that you're taking with you now. It's just that you have to acclimate yourself to this next phase, to this next cycle, which is another reason why you just got to keep going, why you got to keep your strength intact, why you got to keep your ego in check, okay? Because it's going to try and, and fill you with a bunch of fear, and that's not necessary here, okay? What do we have here? Upright or reversed? Upright, please. Okay, this is beautiful. This is really beautiful. You have victory, all right? You have another six. It is the six of wands, coupled with the King of Wands, and the Magician, all right? So to me, this is just reassurance here that you're going in the right direction and victory is at hand. But this victory comes from you physically, actively, take 555 five, five on the counter, taking an active role in this manifestation. Again, with the Magician, there's that active role, but again, the King of Wands, another energy of taking an active role in this situation. Now, the thing about this, the King of Wands that you have to remember is that he is very similar to the Queen of Wands. Both of them are very confident, very sexy, very vibrant, exuberant. You know, they ex they, 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 they have all kinds of energy out there. You know what I mean? I mean, they're just doing their own thing and they don't give a damn what anybody else has to say about it, right? The Queen of Wands is the feminine version of this, so she's receptive. She sits back in her pretty, pretty beautifulness and allows everything that she wants to, mag to to gravitate towards her. She is the receptive side of the situation. The King of Wands is the masculine version. He's similar in that he sits back too and he likes to watch and wait. And he's gonna wait for that right moment to strike. He's gonna wait for that door to open or that window of opportunity to open. And as soon as that happens, quick as a quick quick as all get out y'all he's going to go after what he wants and neither of them are going to let anybody tell them that they can't do anything now that's where you can get cross cross the lines into a little bit of overly self-centered egotism maybe even a little bit of narcissism but that's not what we're talking about here we're talking about you being confident in yourself confident in your abilities and moving forward regardless as to what any of the confusion or illusion may be telling you so if you remember if you watched um if you listened to the announcements that i made i did talk about the astrology a little bit today first of all the king of wands is another representation of leo energy all right and again as of june 17th leo uh, the moon is still in leo um but also we, the, with uh, with the, 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 the astrology for the 17th of June, we have a square between Neptune and, uh, I'm sorry, a square between the moon and, Merc and Mercury. And then we also have a square, oh shoot, now I've forgotten. No, we have an opposition. Yes, we have an opposition between Neptune and the moon. Neptune represents the illusions the confusion, maybe even the fear, all right? So to be honest with you guys, if you're connecting with this or if you're resonating with this in terms of what's happening in the astrology at the moment, and even if not, maybe think back to this date and what may have been happening for you. If you can remember, check your journals or something like that. But there are a lot of illusions that could really be coming forward for you. With that opposition between Neptune and the moon, this is actually a really good thing because you are able to clearly see what's real we'll say the moon, in what's real and what's not Neptune, all right? Now that can affect your emotions a lot, 
But if you stand your ground, if you hold your boundaries, if you keep your ego in check, you, it, this actually could be really beneficial for you. As you keep moving forward in this new, this new energy, this new tra trajectory, and I definitely feel like we are mature enough at this moment to have come out of the past and all the things, all of the illusions and all the fears and all the things that trapped us in the past and kept us from moving forward. Well, we released that and now we've stepped into the next reality. So we are mature enough to look back at the past and look at everything that affected us in the past and how it affected us in the past with the understanding of who we are now and say, you know what? That's not me anymore. I'm gonna keep moving forward. Okay, you have the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Underneath the Page of Pentacles is, in fact, the Nine of Wands to the Ten of Wands to the Moon, but to Death. Oh, oh, oh! And then there's the Hanged Man, guys. There's the Hanged Man. Okay, so uh, that the Hanged Man is representing the change in perspective. Death is representing the transformation. The Moon is representing the darkness that we are kind of flowing through right now. That is helping us to... Uh, well, that is kind of helping a lot of illusions and fear to come up, but it's an illusion. The moon represents things that are not exactly as they seem, okay? And what's happening in this moment, you've stepped into a new reality, you've stepped into a new phase, a new cycle. You need to keep going, keep going, persevere, just keep swimming, nine of wands, because you're reaching the end of the burden, the 10 of wands. So this is literally what had to happen, you guys here, is you had to step in this into this new energetic phase before you could really begin to allow the release of everything else that has been burdening you. But that's because you needed to be in, you needed to be standing in this new perspective for it to really help you, for you to really see what needs to be removed, what needs to be released, what needs to be let go of, because you're moving forward towards your Ten of Cups and the devil is here trying to stop you. It's that, and it's so crazy. If you watch Queen Cup, she did put out a reading. She put out some stuff recently. Again, this is mid-June, but she put out some things that um, from her Patreon collective, and one of them was a channeled message where she was laying in bed, and she literally talked about this. You're moving into the next phase, and the old phase, the, all the old stuff is still trying to keep you locked down, say, don't go, don't go, don't go, but you can most likely see that clearly at this shit. Page of Swords to the King of Swords. Yeah, you can see that clearly. Now you can you can investigate it, look at it for what it is, and make a clear balanced and an honest decision see it for what it truly is and be like actually you know what i know exactly what that is that's the old cycle trying to hold me back okay regardless as to when this resonates for you you guys keep in mind if you are found this reading or re i'm sorry regardless as to when you found it if you found it and it's intriguing you and, it, and, it, and it's resonating for you then take it as it resonates if this is long after the fact of after the 17th of june then don't even put that into it if it doesn't apply to you okay just take the message that's coming through and allow that to fit into your life and let me know let me know how this resonates and if you have any questions let me know down in the comment section and i would definitely do my best to answer those for you yeah all right let's get into some clarification and of course, the first thing that I definitely want to talk about is this Seven of Cups here. Five shuffles first. One. We're using the After Tarot here. This is two. This is three. This is four. Oops, four. And five. Alrighty, kids. So we're gonna start by clarifying. I wanna talk about this Seven of Cups a little bit, yeah? What clarity can you provide us, please, Spirit, on the Seven of Cups? Get perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Anything else? This one. That's it. Okay. Overall energy is the six of wands again, guys. This is beautiful. Keep going. 
okay? Do not let the illusions, do not let the fear, do not let the confusion or the what ifs. That, that came through very clearly, the what ifs. Don't let that happen. What if what? So the fuck what? Like, it, anything can happen at any given moment. Even if you are in the highest vibration and things seem to be going well, all of a sudden, the universe comes and slaps you across the face with something else. Don't worry about that because you can handle it. You've always been able to handle it. You've gotten this far, haven't you? Don't let the what ifs stand in your way. Queen of Swords. So now we had the King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. For those of you that are new to me, um, we do a lot of work on this on this channel and in this collective, we do a lot of work in balancing and harmonizing masculine and feminine energy. I started as a tarot reader, reading for the Twin Flame Collective, and eventually that's been, and I'm gonna, I'm still doing that, but um, it's gotten to the point now where it's, it's, I've come to the understanding, if you're resonating with the Twin Flame journey, I've come to the understanding it has nothing to do with the other person. It has everything to you to do with you and your sense of balance and harmony within. So that's what led me to start shifting my readings to work on balancing and harmonizing this masculine and feminine energy that we all have within us. So the King of Swords came out first with the Page of Swords, which was saying the Page of Swords is the seeker, the Page of Swords is the sentry, the Page of Swords is the individual that the King and the Queen send out for information, the scout, right? So the scout is around here seeing the devil or picking up the, uh, to re taking down the information that the devil is putting out for you. And then the King of Swords stands up and reads through all that and is like, mm. mm hmm He did what? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, here's my verdict. You're bullshit. Now get to step in. And then here comes the Queen of Swords saying, you heard what he said. Don't make me use my sword on you, right? Cut through these illusions like butter, honey. <laughs> okay, you have that with one more card here. Ah, I swear, oh gosh, the Page of Swords. See, see, okay, so this is the, this, what, what, and what just came to mind here was a situation where, you know, the Page of Swords did his thing and went to the King of Swords and was like, ha, 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 yeah, okay, I've made my verdict, now get the fuck out. And homeboy, homegirl, whatever, these illusions, whatnot, are still around, and then the Page of Swords goes running to mommy and said, mom, look what's happening, and now the big guns come out. And now the Queen of Swords is like, you better get the F up out of here before I slice you in half. I love this. Okay. Um, Six of Swords is next. Yeah. Uh, clarity, please, spirit, in terms of the... Hold on. Sorry. Hold on, guys. Sorry. Okay. Let's talk about the Six of Swords now. There are a lot of sixes here. First, I want to say that you have the Six of Wands showing up twice. That's victory. Okay, yes, that's Leo energy. But that's also personal victory, all right? Take that, please. You now have the Six of Swords. Let's talk a little bit about what you're moving away from. Aha. Oh, oh, I love that. Oh, I love that one. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Two of Wands. There is that choice. Now, this is the after tarot. The after tarot and the Two of Wands can represent a relationship, um, can represent uh, two entrepreneurs or like an emperor and an empress energy, whether you're a man or a woman. We're talking energies here, not gender. That's another thing about my channel. When we talk about the king and the queen of swords, we're not talking about, we're not necessarily talking about gender. Unless I feel very strongly that it's an actual woman or an actual man, this is all energetic and we all have masculine and feminine energies within us. So in terms of this energy, if this is resonating for you on a relationship level, which this card can represent, it's, a re it's like an, a representation of an empress energy and an emperor energy. Two separate individuals, two whole and complete individuals that, that have their own empires that they are now fusing together. Um, it, you could be two men, you could be two women, you could be transgender, you could be normal, normal gender identity. It doesn't matter, okay? This is just representing the energetic vibration of the masculine and the feminine coming together and working together. Now, this absolutely could represent the balance and harmony between masculine and feminine within yourself that are now working in tandem with each other. And from that point of view, 
you have made a decision to move in a certain direction. And that direction that you're moving in, Six of Swords, has everything to do with the light you've come to understand on a deeper level, I will say, within yourself. And you are moving forward like this, in this way, because you have finally released apathy or a sense of boredom or a sense of doubt or fear or just not feeling good enough, not feeling worthy enough, or quite frankly, just not wanting to do it at all. And I'll tell you what, I definitely resonate with that. I went, with, I went through that for two months. I didn't work for damn near two months, you guys. And I'm not the only one that went through that. There are plenty of other readers that actually went through the same exact cycle at the same exact time. It's kind of crazy, but there, it came a point where I was, I was all wrapped up in this Four of Cups energy. Fuck it. I don't want any of it. I don't want to read that. I'm not doing that. I, no, I can't stand it. Why am I doing this? What are we doing this for? This is pointless. This is stupid. I don't want this anymore. Not anymore. That's over. Because it seems that you found a sense of purpose here. A hermit, the hermit. There is an, an there's in in some sort of apathetic period. Even though it was shitty, even though it sucked, and even though it was like, man, I hate everything. You were able to get to the bottom of what was really bothering you, okay? And that's part of this illusion here, okay? What was really bothering you, and but you able you were able to find a sense of light within or a sense of purpose within. That's what I'm feeling with the hierophant. Uh, the Hierophant. No, the Hermit. That's what I'm feeling with the Hermit here. You found a sense of purpose and now you're moving forward. Excellent. So, last thing I want to clarify. Since the Six of Wands came out twice here, ooh, actually no. Actually, no. I want to go with the Hermit. Oh, geez. The Magician first. Okay, let's talk about the Magician. What's a little bit of energy about the manifestations here? Please, Spirit. What are we manifesting? What are we creating for ourselves? Any messages surrounding that? Aha, uh -huh. okay. So you're creating from a sense of self-worth. Oh, you guys, come on. Six of Wands, again, is at the bottom of the deck, okay? Beautiful energy. There is victory coming through here. Okay, so in terms of the manifestations, in terms of what it is you're creating for yourself moving forward, again, you're creating from a sense of self-worth. And there could be a lot of energy surrounding you of differing of opinion. I definitely feel like this differing of opinion represented by the five of wands here is external, okay? Because I do feel like you're very solid within yourself, even though there may be a good amount of confusion or illusion around you that's kind of causing you to question things a little bit. Whatever it is you are manifesting is coming from a sense of self-worth. And, it, and, and it's very similar to the King of Wands in that the King of Wands is not about to tell, let anybody tell him what he can or cannot do, okay? But with the Queen of Pentacles, it's coming from a little bit of a different place. The Queen of Pentacles, again, it's, it's from a se sense of self-worth. So when you're dealing with the energies of the Queen of Pentacles, she's very loving. She's very nurturing. She's the mother and the wife archetype in the physical world, okay? But she's kind of a hard ass sometimes. And, you know, she's very, she's very disciplined and she's very straightforward and she does the, the work. And she expects everyone else who, are, who that is involved with the situation to do their work too, to show up, to hold up, keep up their end of the bargain. And she's the type of indiv individual to really understand her worth and her value and what she brings to the table enough to cut someone off real quick when they're not doing the same, when they're not following through. And she's very similar to the Queen of Swords in that way. I, I see the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords as kind of like best friends. The major difference between the two of them is that the Queen of Pentacles tends to be a little more compassionate. The Queen of Swords ain't trying to have no place. No, she wants nothing to do with emotion, has nothing to do with it. Queen of Pentacles is a little more emotionally aware, uh, but she will cut you off. And that's the thing about this. No matter what anybody else is saying to you, no matter what else is going on around you, no matter what other chaos may be happening around you, because the Five of Wands can be a very chaotic energy, the Queen of Pentacles is very sturdy, very stable. So in terms of what it is you are manifesting here, the conscious direction that you are moving in, the destiny that you are developing for yourself at this moment is coming from a place of self-worth, knowing your worth, knowing what it is you provide to the situation, knowing what it is that you bring to the table, and not giving a damn whether other people are, are involved or not. Because quite frankly, from the Queen of Pentacles' point of view, it's their loss, not hers. Okay? Beautiful. So, last thing I want to clarify is this Six of Wands here. 
Six of Wands, yes. So let's clarify that. Anything you have to say for us to spirit in terms of the Six of Wands? Beautiful. We're gonna stop right there. The sun, oh my God, yes! Even more victory, 444 on the counter. This is huge victory, you guys. This is personal victory for yourself. This is illumination. This is bright, happy, fun-loving, great, happy-go-lucky energy. Like, this is beautiful, beautiful energy. And this is coming because you have this, this victory here, okay? Both of these cards represent victory. And the Six of Wands showed up three separate times in this reading today. And now it's being clarified by the sun. I mean, you can't get any more victorious than that. You have that with the Four of Wands. Union energy, okay? The Four of Wands, if you're thinking about this from a twin flame, twin flame perspective, this is the Union card. But this is that union within yourself. And, and the Four of Wands has been coming out a lot lately. And each time it comes out for the collective, it's feeling like an energy of having a solid spiritual understanding within yourself. Being solid within yourself, your creative abilities, the balance, the harmony between masculine and feminine energy within you. If this reading is resonating for you, then this is the, where you are heading if you're not already there. Okay. You have this with two other cards though. Okay. Now, in terms of this victory, in terms of ensuring this victory for yourself, you have the Two of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. In this situation, the Two of Swords is not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. This is keeping your mental space clear, not focusing on the external, focusing more internally and using your intuition to help keep some sort of physical balance in your life. Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles, okay? That is what's helping you, helping assure you of this victory. I just saw 444 again. But also, these two cards fell face down. So this is more of a hidden energy, more of an internal energy. But this two, this balance, this heart, 555 five, five on the counter, good God, guys. Uh, but this balance here, the Two of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, is what's helping you stay in this Four of Wands energy. This is the... Two plus two equals four, you guys. So this is what's going on for you in an, on an internal sense that's helping you stay here. Four of Wands. Balanced, whole, happy, harmo happy, happy and harmonious. There we go. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's close out this reading and get Oracle Guidance. I'm going to do that from the Crystal Mandala deck today. Alrighty. Five shuffles here. One. Two. Three. Four. Alrighty, kids. Closing Oracle Guidance. Here we go. There it is right there. Haha, <laughs> yes! I love this. Card number 51, Goddess Isis and Isis Crystal. She shall always prevail. Now, if you are savvy enough, then you know that the story of Isis um, and what she went through with I can't I can't remember the name of her counterpart right now but her counterpart the masculine version Osiris was it um, I believe I believe that's his name but he was chopped up killed he was murdered and his and his body was chopped up into pieces and scattered all over the earth so that he could not be resurrected but Isis persevered prevailed and found all of his body parts and got him resurrected I mean that's a that's a real basic version of that but and i'm probably i'm not even sure i'm telling it correctly if i am if i'm not please correct me anybody that has any sort of links to that literature please share that in the comment section down below the reason why i'm pointing that out is because that was the first thing i thought of when i saw this card and so that's going to be relevant for some of you but then also that's connected to the message here she shall always prevail okay she homegirl sis made it happen okay I mean, like, no disrespect, but, like, 
Homegirl made it happen. So can you, yeah? That's the point of the story. All right. So let's get into this here. She shall always prevail. We bring you the empowerment of she shall always prevail. There is something magnificent in the human spirit when one chooses to believe in oneself. Life rallies to strengthen and encourage it. It is the expression of will to live, not from a place of fear of death, but of a brave, divinely defiant boldness that refuses to give up on what matters most. You have had your share of heartbreak and disappointment, and yet, rather than bitterness in your heart, you choose love. You have your moments of doubt and despair, and yet, deep in your heart, you choose to continue on. You have the spirit of Isis in you, and just like the Universal Mother expressing herself through Isis, you too shall prevail. Ooh, I love that. I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic day. Please make sure to like, share, comment. Uh, if you're not, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. That's going to help you see more of these readings more often. Share it with your friends. If you know somebody that this would really resonate for, I highly recommend that you share it with them. And please join the join the conversation. Join the community. Yeah, I love you guys so much. I love connecting with you. And so. There you have it, yeah? I hope you have a fantastic day and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>